day guys nice to have you here today we'll talk about all of the important things you must know before playing julian or at the very least most of it before we continue i want to give my shout outs to the fallen one and unknown girl user thank you so much for always supporting the channel you're both awesome let's talk about julian's skills and some tips that can help you out play him better all of his skills have a base cooldown of 7 seconds which does not improve by simply leveling up. And as a lot of you are aware, Julian does not have an ultimate, which means all of these skills can be learned at any given time, every time he levels up. By level 3, I suggest learning all 3 skills in order for you to start doing your combos. And in order for you to efficiently chain your combos, having cooldown reduction is a necessity. As much as possible, Keep your cooldown low by using equipment or emblem talents that improves it. Let's now discuss the base form of his skills. His first skill is called Scythe. This is his main damage source on the early game. It also passes through minions which makes it an amazing tool to harass and discourage your enemy from getting close to the minions. This is also his base form skill with a brief slowing effect and the highest damage output. I strongly suggest getting this at Hero level 1. His second skill is called Sword. This is a powerful dashing ability which is actually my favorite because it deals a decent amount of damage while moving through the battlefield greatly. It's also one of my favorite reaping abilities in its enhanced form which we will discuss later. I highly suggest getting this at Hero level 2. His third skill is called Chain. This skill has the lowest damage output but has the best crowd control from all of his 3 skills. This is capable of immobilizing all targets within its range after a brief delay. I highly suggest getting this at Hero level 3. Once all 3 skills have been learned, you can then unlock all of his skills enhanced modes or versions by casting at least 2 skills. Take note that there is a limited amount of time in between skill casts in order for you to successfully enhance one of your other skills. The unlocked enhanced skills can only be used once within a limited time before it resets to its base form. Upon activation of any enhanced skill, Julian's passive attack becomes empowered temporarily which pulls his enemies or enemy towards him and also has magic lifesteal effect. This enhanced basic attack will eventually expire unless you cast another skill. Which brings me back to my advice earlier about cooldown reduction. If you don't invest in cooldown reduction, his enhanced attacks will already have expired before you're able to cast another skill. With at least 40% cooldown reduction, you'll be able to keep sustaining his enhanced basic attacks, thus giving you an unlimited supply of magic life steal and pooling control effect from his passive. With the use of Enchanted Talisman, I suggest pumping up Julian's cooldown reduction to 45% just so you have more time for necessary outplays. Enhanced Sight can be unlocked by casting Sword and Chain interchangeably. This is his skill with the greatest damage output. It has an initial impact magic damage and continuous magic damage after a short delay. The only drawback to this skill is how easy it is for his enemies to escape it which makes it an ideal combo with Chain in order to ensure the enemies are immobilized while this skill tears them apart. Enhanced Sword can be unlocked by casting Scythe and Chain interchangeably. This is his skill with the second most powerful damage output. It damages the enemies along his path multiple times within 0.9 seconds for a total of 9 times. This is my favorite skill since it has the shortest animation which allows it to burst down enemies with ease and has a very wide and long distance of casting range. In addition to that, Julian also becomes invulnerable while dashing during its casting animation. Enhanced Chain can be unlocked by casting Scythe and Sword interchangeably. This is his skill with the least powerful damage output but has the best control effect from all of his skills. 
Upon impact, it slows down enemies within its range and will cast a final blow causing all enemies within its range to become airborne. This, in my opinion, is his second best skill and can be very disruptive both in duels and team fights. For the emblems, I strongly suggest Magic Worship because Julian is a combo type hero which is capable of easily unlocking this emblem's talent damage. I also suggest putting all of your emblem points into Magic Power and Magic Penetration. Since Julian is a setter type hero, we need to get as much damage output as possible from this emblem, since his items will be focused more on survivability. For the battle spells, I suggest Vengeance in order for Julian to go toe to toe with the opposing XP laner better, especially against burst damage XP laners. If you prefer a combo type Julian with even more control effects, Flameshot is also a good choice. And if you want to play him as a jungler, Ice Retribution is a good option in order to slow down enemies and gain advantage in positioning for landing your skills. In addition to being an effective side laner and jungler, Julian can be an excellent roaming support as well since he gains access to all of his 3 skills at level 3. This makes it feel as if Julian was never delayed in experience to begin with and can also be a very helpful ally in inflicting control effects against multiple enemies. If you'll play him as a roaming support, I strongly suggest getting Tenacity as your emblem talent. For the equipment, depending on your role, give Julian between 1 to 3 magic damage equipment while the rest of the inventory slots are set aside for defensive equipment. I don't recommend giving him few defensive equipment because of the nature of his skill set. Since he is always required to do skill combos, not having the ability to survive longer in battle can prove fatal. Besides, his damage output is already above average, so not having too many damage items will not hurt Julian at all. In my opinion, Enchanted Talisman and Thunder Belt are his core equipment. I suggest keeping those two items regardless of role. Depending on the situation and the enemy team's lineup, I also suggest the following equipment. Now that's out of the way, here are some Julian highlights. Enjoy! Complete. Initiate retreat! Have slain an enemy! Colors. Alert. 
That concludes our Mobile Legends content for today. What do you think about this newest hero? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.